Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title of this video, I am getting ready to travel, so I'll be vlogging today and tomorrow. Today I'm packing. I'll pack quickly with you and show you the best luggage, how I travel, how I pack my designer bags, my shoes, my jewelry. So I will organize everything quickly and tomorrow I will take you with me to Heathrow and we'll do some shopping shopping. Now I am a bit stressed out all over the place because I was filming all day long. I woke up super early to film some content and now I need to pack very quick. Oh by the way, I want to unbox this with you. <gasps> Let's do a little Louis Vuitton unboxing, shall we? <laughs> How exciting starting this vlog with a little Louis unboxing. So in here we have an item that's been on my wish list for so long. And this was a limited edition item, so it got sold out very, very fast. And I couldn't get my hands on this. So I wanted it for my holiday because it is a travel accessory. And I found one on Bestia Collective. It is... The Louis Vuitton passport holder, but this is the holiday edition. I believe this was the 2019 holiday edition and I really wanted to find this with the Eiffel Tower because it is my favourite Vivienne in Paris. So I'm very very glad I found it. Brand new from Vestia Collective. I paid a bit extra but I really wanted it so... I can't wait to hot stamp mine as well, so I'll do that when I'm back. Inside I've already packed it, let me cover some of the cards. So in here I have my ID card, I have my priority pass and I also have my passport. It is a bit of a mess here but let me show you how I pack and organise my hand luggage first. So inside my on the go, if you have one of these, I would highly recommend you get one of these Samoga organizers. I have a discount code for these guys, so I'll make sure I link it down below. It is a, the best organizer. Samoga, you guys know, are the first company to make organizers. They're the original and the quality of their felt organizers is really, really amazing. I love that you can organize them inside. There are pockets. And also I think this is a must for a big tote like the Louis Vuitton or if you have the book tote, they have organizers for every single brand and handbag you can think of. So for especially for such big tote bags, this is very convenient because it is very easy to organize and you don't have to rummage through your bag to find everything. So you can put a water bottle here on the side. I'll show you how I pack my one. You can see that the on the go inside has has um, a fabric lining so it will protect it from any dust, any spills. So highly, highly, highly recommend the Samorga organizers. I've been talking about these in many of my videos. I have the organizers in all of my handbags as well. So this is how I organized everything quickly. I have my laptop in here, my phone and my passport in the side pockets. I will also take my card holder and I'll put it here in the zipper pocket so it's secure and I have a bottle of water, it is empty so once I pass security I'll buy a bottle of uh, cold water and transfer it into my uh, Dior water bottle because it will keep it cold and I will also take my planner, I need this. I'm also taking this iPhone. This is a gift, so I don't want to check it in. I'll just carry it with me in my hand luggage. And also I need my glasses. These are them, so going in here as well. So yeah, I love how everything is organized. It's so easy to find and it's perfect. So this is all done. So yeah, I also want to show you that even in this duffel bag from Chanel, can I do this with one hand? So inside my Chanel duffel bag, I have an organizer as well. And it is again from Samorga. I've shown you this before. It is amazing because the bag inside is leather. So I want to protect the leather. Also, it is quite unstructured and it flops. So the organizer inside really keeps the shape of the bag so it doesn't flop. Um, and I don't have to stuff it. And I'll put everything into this bag. <laughs> I only have these now. I couldn't find the rest. These are Hermes bags, but I'll pack all the shoes in these and then inside the suitcase.
guys, as you can see, I'm already at the airport. I haven't slept at all. My eyes are hurting, but I'm also very excited. I just dropped off my luggage, past security, and now, unfortunately, I'm not in tax-free heaven anymore because <laughs> Heathrow doesn't do tax-free anymore. If you're curious, <laughs> you can go check out my previous shopping vlogs from Heathrow. I'll link them above and down below in the description. But Heathrow Terminal 5 has the best shopping, so I'll show you what's available. There is Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior. So let's go and um, do some airport shoppy shopping. <laughs> there is so much makeup and it looks like they have some promotions, like 20% off. So yeah, they have a ton of perfumes, makeup, Charlotte Tilbury, Dior, Chanel. Of course, first stop will be my favorite and I think everyone's favorite, Chanel. They have the new collection. They have the furry little bags here that I showed you in my 21K vlog from London. I will link that above as well. So let's see the selection at the airport. I'm curious. I don't think they have any classic bags though. It's sneaker heaven in here. Look how many sneakers, all the colors. <laughs> Here they have some ballerinas, just normal price. I really like the black and white, so classic, love these. Check these out, they're so cute with the bow detail. And the CC on the front, 860. This one caught my eye, it's a cardigan. And look at the patterns there with sequins, They're very cute. They also have the furry boots <laughs> from the new collection. I'm not really a fan of these and they also have this pillow which is two-sided this is the newer design I love this one Chanel buttons are always the cutest <laughs> on all their pieces they also have this shirt with the tiny little CCs from the new collection. I cannot believe my eyes. Guys, they have all the lilac pieces on display even. I'm shocked. This is the lilac coco handle and caviar. Guys, they have all the unicorns from the new collection, even on display. Um, they have all the lilac bags, the cocoa handle, this, which is impossible to find in London currently. I was dying to see this in person. I wanted to see this unicorn. It's iridescent and I love the hardware. It's so unique. I also really wanted to see this one in person, but it was impossible to find anywhere in the London boutiques. It's quite tiny, it's like a coin purse. I feel like a kid in a candy shop right now. These are so cute, love them. So this is the other one, this is the pastel blue color that I also wanted to have a look at. So which one do you guys prefer, the lilac or baby blue? Yeah, 
that's a pound. Right? Everything counts. What's in what's it in US dollars? I'll have to check. And by the way, they also have all the SOGs and card holders, wallets. And look at this beanie hat, also from the new collection, but it's quite pricey because of the camellia. Oh my god, guys, they even have the lilac without the top handle in mini rectangle. I can't believe it. This was even on display on the shelf. They never display the mini rectangles in London anymore. Chanel always has the cutest shielding bags. This is so adorable. Oh, I spy with my little eye a very beautiful pink, baby pink trendy. <laughs> and some more pinks here. Guys, they sell plastic bags at the airport now because the prices are the same as the prices in London because they don't do uh, tax free anymore. So they started stocking up the plastic double flaps and they have so many of the unicorns. I was shocked because they are not even on display uh, in the London boutiques. So they have all, all of them here, all the beautiful unicorns. So if you're traveling, definitely check out Chanel here. Let's check out Dior next. They have quite a few sneakers, the classic D-Connect, some monograms, sliders, espadrilles, loafers, and of course the classic Jadio pumps. I can see quite a few Lady Dior's, they have the D-Light. Even the ombre lady duo here. Have you seen this, guys? I've never seen this before. It comes in pink, baby pink, but it's sold out. And this blue embroidered, it's like a sunglasses holder, like a cord that holds your sunglasses. It's really cool. And I love these oblique sunglasses as well.
the staff at Dior is always so lovely here at Heathrow. The manager is so bubbly and uh, they have so many beautiful items actually. They have many of the classic Lady Dior's, they have exotics, they have a lot of oblique classic straps, bucket hats, but unfortunately nothing stacks free. But they have a really, really great selection. Okay, let's go check out Louis, because I know many of you are probably waiting to see Louis Vuitton, right? <laughs> These are from the men's collection and I actually really like them, both of them, these little trunk bags. This is such a beautiful neutral colour and they also have these other two here. Oh my god guys, look at this scarf, I think it's from the Game On collection because it has hearts. I think I found my perfect winter boots. I always have cold feet and I think these are my boots now. I need them. These are very comfortable, very warm. And I love the colour, I know they'll get dirty probably quite fast compared to the black ones But I love them To wait occasionally, they will be perfectly fine But the key is maintenance You get the, the blossoms, it's, it's very beautiful How perfect would this be for travelling? Two of them? Exactly, not, not the one at the back. And look at this monogram scrunchy, and I love the Meta LV logo there.
those Louis Vuitton shilling boots. The cutest little thing you've seen. Oh my God, I am in love adding them to my wish list. I think they were about 1,000 something, 1,100 I think. Oh, I miss tax-free shopping guys. I bought quite a few pieces from Cartier before and it was I think 18% off. Unfortunately, not anymore. Very sad. Let's check out Gucci next. I think these boots are new style. Oh, and they also come in white, like a creamy off-white color. I really like these sneakers, very classic. And here you can see the rest of the selection they have at Heathrow. I really like these ones. Uh, but maybe the white ones, yeah, these. I'm gonna try them on actually, because I really like them. I'm very comfortable, and the Gigi is very subtle. It really catches the light though, because um, it's silver. I really like it. GG monogram overload. <laughs> they have so many GG bags. I quite like these new bags here with the chain. Okay, so I know these were in my faux trends video, but I do find them very ugly. I know they're popular, but I would never buy them. Especially these, they're hideous. Oh, love this pistachio color. It looks like the Hermes Verde Criquet. I love these ones. They're so cute. Oh look, they have the new fluffy shielding bags. This is my favorite color, it's called Mystique. Wow, Bottega really knows how to do color. This hot pink is amazing and they also have, look at all these. Let's check out Hermes. Love the window display with these little guys. So cute.
much inside guys um, the stock is very limited they have fine jewelry some costume jewelry but the selection is not great I can see this I think this is the long Constance wallet it might be the on the go I'm not sure if it has the strap and they have many of the watches as well the H watches um, and they have a really good selection of twillies as well I think Prada will be our last stop <laughs> so let's see oh I can see a lot of lilac oh look at this pastel baby pink mini Clio I believe these are called Clio correct me if I'm wrong and they also have all these classic colors and the new lilac I can also see the Prada edition in nylon in this color I found two winter essentials to add to your wardrobe, the beanie hat and the scarf. Oh, I didn't know they do these slippers. These are new, I think. They had slippers, but they were different styles. I actually really love these ones. So cute. Oh, here's another snuggly pair of boots for all of us who suffer from cold feet. Okay, I came way too early, but this time I don't want to run to catch my flight like the previous two times. So I'm gonna go to the lounge and chill there for a bit before my flight and I'm still considering picking up something from Chanel I put it on hold but I'll think about it I still have time something but they'll ship it to my UK address so I don't have to take it with me on holiday and then carry it back to London so I picked up something from Chanel and they'll ship it to me directly when I'm back I'll be back in about 10 days so I'm super excited I'm just trying to find my gate now I hope you enjoyed today's shopping vlog from Heathrow let me know what you think and yeah bye guys